Hello everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the Sagittar. Yes, the new kind of tiny transport from the Leagues of Votan, sent to me early by Games Workshop to paint up and review for all of you, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. We're going to be painting it in the same scheme as my own custom league, and, well, we're just going to jump in and start painting it. It's been primed in grace here, as has the rest of my league, if you've been following along at home. And the colour we're going to be using first is Black Legion. However, we are going to be doing a roughly two parts contrast medium to one part Black Legion mix. And we're going to be painting this all over on the box art, where you would see the cream armour. And this is because this is going to be that sort of turquoisey dark green colour that we have on the scheme. So, we're going to take this Black Legion mix and we're just going to pick a place to start. And I'm just going to start right here on the back. And basically, what we're doing here is we're pre shading our vehicle because we're going to be adding our actual colour over the top of this. which will be Sons of Horus Green. But rather than painting it up with Sons of Horus Green, or indeed priming our miniature black, because we've got those large yellow panels, actually starting with a darker priming would not be advantageous. Whilst we could use pterodon turquoise, I want this to be a little bit more industrial, a little less vibrant than, say, the cloves or the smaller guys that we've worked on so far. So we're just going to be getting this all over like this. I'm just going to go nice and methodically, we're going to take our time. Once this is all done, we shall return. So with that Black Legion all applied all the way around, well, that thinned down Black Legion applied all the way around, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Sons of Horus Green, only we're going to thin it down a little bit more than normal. So we're going to talk to two, three or four brushfuls of water to one part Sons of Horus Green. And we're going to apply this over the top of our Black Legion mix areas. What we're going to do is we're going to avoid any of the recesses. That's what I mean about we've got that kind of pre-shaded armour. Now it looks quite vibrant there, but don't worry. It does dry. A lot darker. So it might take a couple of thin coats to ensure that you get a nice strong colour across all of these panels. But otherwise, you just want to take your time again, make your way around the model, and then once that is done, we'll come back. So 
So that Sons of Horus Green applied to all of these areas. What we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors. We're going to apply this over, well, a large amount of details. So I'm just going to start just here because it's the bit that's right in front of me. It's calling to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to be painting in all of the roll bars. With this, we're going to be painting in all of the kind of mechanical pipes. We're painting the kind of the nuts and bolts of the tires. We are going to be adding a little bit of variation to the metallics on this guy, but for now, it's just simpler just to get the Iron Warriors over all of it. So with all of that Iron Warriors applied all the way around, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over the top of, well, all of our remaining black details. Again, we're just ignoring the cockpit for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this over the top of the gun casings down here. We're going to add it over the top of the kind of handles on the roll cages. And we're going to add this over the top of this little doodad back here on the antenna. And you can do the tires now if you want to, or you can wait till later to do the tires. I'm gonna wait till later so that I'm not handling painted detail. Save that towards the end. So with all of that Black Legion applied, I've also applied it to the casing of the weapon. But, you know, it doesn't stay on there. It's fine when it's like that, but it would maybe need a little magnet in there or to just be glued in. But, you know, as mentioned, it is fine when it's just in there like that, but it doesn't hold. Anyway, we're gonna just pop that out of the way because we're gonna move on to our next color. Our next color is going to be Imperial Fist. I'm gonna be applying this over the top of all of our armor panels. So we've got this, all of these ones here on the side. So you just wanna be careful here as you're applying your Imperial Fist, as if you kind of use too much at once, despite it being a kind of single pigment paint, it goes on really smooth, but if you use too much, it does have this tendency to start to pool towards the bottom as gravity takes over. So do just be careful of that. Make sure you're just continuing to use these big broad brush strokes. Just like this. With that Imperial Fist applied to all of our arm panels, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down Screaming Bell. And we're gonna apply this to some of the pipe work around here on the front of the Sagittar. So we're just gonna pick them out and we're not picking out the roll cages. 
to be clear. <laughs> I'm picking up the pipes. You just want to be very careful here. up here on the back of the vehicle or on the top of the vehicle I should say and just there as well and around the back Just like that. And of course, we can replicate this on the opposite side. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down iron warriors and we're going to apply this to all of our remaining silver details that we didn't do earlier. So we wanted to get the rest of those details on. So we're just going to take that iron warriors and we're going to apply it all over. So with that done, what we're now going to do, we're just going to pop that off for the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to work on this stack of baggage on the back here. Now, the first colour we're going to be using is the Flesh Terrors Red, and we're applying this over the top of our kind of fuel cans, right here in the middle. So with that done, we're then going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top of that little box. It's just here underneath the bedroll. And with that done, we're then going to take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to apply this over the top of the bed rolls. And so with that done, we're then gonna take some skeleton hoard and we're gonna apply this over the top of the rope. that done we're then going to take some Cygore Brown we're going to apply this over the top of the straps so with that done we've got all of our base coats on apart from on the tires and on the two 
crew members. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some shades next. The first one we're going to add is Agrax Surf Shade. Now we're going to be applying this to all of our metallics, excluding on the guns. We want those to be clean. However, on the rest of them, what we're going to do is we're just going to load up our brush with some Agrax Surf Shade and we're just going to start applying this all over. This is slightly different to what we did on the Hecaton Land Fortress. because That one is so big. Whereas this one we can get away with doing the whole lot with the same shade. And then we can just brighten it up because it's a much quicker job that way. So with that Agrax Earth Shade applied to all of those silver details, farewell Mater Auto Cannon. What we're going to do is we're going to take some Drakenhof Nightshade. We're going to use that to shade our remaining silver details. So the guns. Which is why we need that Mater Auto Cannon back in just a moment. There we go. Oh no, we've got the turret as well. So with that Dragon Half Nightshade applied, we're then going to take some Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to use this to shade our yellow. Now once again, you just want to be careful here. Get these nice big broad brush strokes on the go. Make sure you get that shading on there and it's not too kind of patchy in places. The beauty of these new shades is they do stay wetter for longer, so you can just move it around if you know it's or notice it's getting a little bit too streaky or blobby in places. I'm just going to get this Cassandra yellow over the top of that little armor panel just there. So I can demonstrate that in action for you here on this large panel and just big broad brush strokes. Getting that Cassandra yellow all over. And just moving it around. It's too dark in any patches. Just like that. So with that done, apart from a few glaring things like the two cockpits and the wheels, our Sagittar is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, we are of course not going to leave it there because we're not really finished. However, what we're going to do is we're going to take the majority of the Sagittar to the next level first. Then we will do the cockpit and the glass. If I can just get it off, there we go. And then we will finally do the wheels. So what we're going to do is see you later, Mater Auto Cannon again. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by adding some highlights. Now the first one we're going to add is Cyberite Green. I'm going to be applying this to all of our green. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to very carefully now just start picking out all of those edges. Just like this. And just take your time here. And just go very steadily and methodically working your way around the model. So with that cyberite green highlight applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down flash gets yellow. 
I'm going to use this to highlight all of the yellow. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dark Reaper. I'm going to use this to highlight all the black details. And so with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down rust grey. I'm going to apply this to the sharpest points on all of the black details. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to work on all the silver. Now the colour we're going to be using for this is lead belcher. We're going to be doing it in a couple of different ways. So on areas such as these roll bars, what we're going to do is we're going to basically take that lead belcher and we're going to re-layer it, just avoiding where our Agrax shade has settled in the recesses. And this gives us a bit of, bit of weathering. And if you want to, what you can do is you can kind of blend it out a little bit by just applying the lead belcher to the area. Like that. Then what you do is you wash your brush and then with just a little bit of kind of water on it, you just kind of feather away at the transition point slightly damp brush. Like that sort of thing. That's what we're going to be doing on the roll cages. On the rest of the details, however, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of, we're going to highlight, we're going to highlight them. It's like vocal stumble there. You'll forgive me. For example, we've got this little bit there down here, just going to kind of pick out the edge, same here, and these don't have to be like perfect highlights, you don't have to do this everywhere, you might have some really nicely shaded metals, for example on those wheels they look pretty good, and we're not going to highlight inside the wheel arches either, well sorry, the kind of the nuts and bolts of the wheels because we just want them to be a little bit grimy. Just gonna relay that. <laughs> Messed up those highlights. So with all of that silver now done, as you can see, nice, bright and shiny. What we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take some fulgurite copper. I'm gonna do much the same thing here, over the top of our screaming bell areas. Just 
to brighten them right back up. So that done, the main body of the Sagittar is finished. It looks pretty awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on. I'm going to move on to those cockpits. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion, first of all. I'm going to apply this over the top of the console. I'm going to apply this over the top of our pilot's boots, knee pads and elbow pads. Just like this. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some Pterodon Turquoise and we're going to apply this over the top of our pilot's clothes. So we've got the shirt, we've got the trousers. Also going to apply this on is the iron ken or corv, whatever it is. Apply it over the top of that one's armor. So with that pterodon turquoise applied, we're then going to take some Cygor brown, and we're going to apply this over the top of the belt, which is right down in here, which you probably can't see on the camera. Like that. We're also going to apply this over the top of the pilot's gloves. So with that side gore brown applied, we're then going to take some Imperial Fist. I'm going to apply this over the top of the armor. With that Imperial Fist applied, we're then going to take some Flesh Terrors Red and we're going to apply this over the top of the harness. So with that done, we're now just going to take some Fire Slayer Flash and we're going to apply this to our pilot's face. So just whilst we're waiting for that base to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors 
I'm going to use this over pretty much all of our remaining details, excluding this head back here, the iron kin assistant or corve over the, instead of that. So we're just going to start applying this over all the areas that we want to be silver, including on the consoles and controls and things like that. So with that done, we're then going to take some Rune Lord brass. It's a little too much on my brush there. And we're going to apply this over the top of the dome head. And so with that done, I'm then going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply that over the top of the hair. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on the cockpits. So what we're going to do is we're going to start adding some shades. Now the first one we're going to add is Cassandora Yellow. I'm going to apply this over the top of all the yellow. And with that done, we're then gonna take some Drakenhof Nightshade and we're gonna use this to shade the black and the silver. And with that done, we then take a little bit of Fire Slayer Flash. We're going to apply this over the domed helmet. So with that done, our Sagittar is now almost at a completely war hipster battle ready. You could leave it there and just put your cockpits on and then paint them, at least the glass coverings, and then do the wheels. However, we're just going to have a few couple of highlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some flash kits yellow first and foremost. And use this to highlight the armor. And with that done, we're then going to take some flayed one flesh. We're going to use this to highlight the face. And with that done, we then want to take a teeny tiny amount of Black Legion. We want to apply this over the top of the pilot's eyes. And with that Black Legion applied, we then take a teeny tiny dot of Screaming Skull and we're going to add that in the corners of the eyes. Like that. And so with that done, we're then going to take some lead belcher and we're going to apply this as a little highlight to all of our silver. And we're also going to use this to block in any of the buttons and screens.
And with that done, we're then going to take some Rune Lord brass and we're going to relay the dome head. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're just going to very quickly take some Cyberite green and we're going to use this to highlight our corv slash ironkin. around his armor. So with that done, we're now just gonna very quickly take some rust gray and we're gonna use this to highlight our black details. A little bit heavy there. Just wipe that away with the finger. So with that done, we've just got one sort of last pass to do on this guy before we do the wheels in the cockpit. And that is all of the lenses and buttons and screens and lights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use two colors here, Talisar Blue and Flesh Terra's Red. And we're using these kind of just at your own leisure across all of the buttons and all of the lights. You can do this kind of on whichever ones you want. So we've got all the ones on the Sagittar itself. these two here on the guns. We've got a bunch of them in the cockpits. We've got some lights on the back as well. We've got one on the gun as well. Apply this on top of the screens. Like that. And then additionally. Flesh Terror is red. On the other ones. So with that all done, we're then gonna take some Night Haunt Gloom and we're gonna apply this over our lamps. She just realized looking at this that I've forgotten to add Flesh Terror's Red over that vision slit just there. So I'm going to do that now. So with that Night Horn Gloom applied, we're then just going to take a tiny amount of Blue Horror. I'm going to add that in the gaps on our lamps. So with that done, our Sagittar is now finished. Apart from the wheels and our glass canopies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish them off. And what we did in the Hecaton Land Fortress, we did some Black Legion on the wheels, but we don't need to do that here because, well, it's our last thing and we're gonna be doing a dry brush over it anyway. We want these to be quite dark wheels. So we're gonna be using a bad and black here and we're just gonna be painting this Abaddon Black all over our wheels and we're going to use it to pick out the frame on all of 
of the glass. So with that Abaddon Black applied to both the tyres and the cockpits, what we're going to do now is we're going to dry brush those tyres with some Steel Legion Drab. And so with that Steel Legion Drab dry brush applied to all of those tires, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a really gentle dry brush of Dark Reaper over the top of the cockpit. And so with those dry brushes complete, our Sagittar is now finished. And I happen to think that this might just be one of the cutest models in all of Warhammer. <laughs> it's so adorable. It's tiny. It's just, I don't know what it is about it. I just really like it. Oh, it's just so cute. It's so, it's so adorable. Look at it. It fits in the palm of your hand. It can carry little men around, dwarves and stuff. Oh, it's just so fantastic. I love it. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.